Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtu Toys channel. Okay, uh, latest release from Mini GT, the new uh, Mazda Miata MX-5 and a classic white uh, version. Well, two of a very similar um, car, two of the same car almost. Uh, even if you see the description, right, um, this one would be in a special packaging. Uh, Mazda Miata MX-5 classic white tuned version. Okay, this is actually a uh, Fred's Garage um, exclusive. It's actually a um, Dakar sh store in Taiwan. And then this one would be tuned version classic white. So basically, same words, just um, a jumbling up of, you know, what comes first. Uh, but basically, basically, it's the same name. So, um, I have them out of the box already. Uh, we will get into them in a short while. Uh, just quick uh, mention, right? That uh, most of the time um, with this new format, right? Okay, yeah, you can see it here. There we go. There we go. With this new format, basically, most of the time, right? Whenever I can, um, these cars would already be unboxed over at uh, Collectors Cube um, on Facebook. That's QBE. You can look this up there. And then um, remember to hit the like button because that will help me up with the uh, YouTube algorithms. Okay, so. We will look at them um, in a short while, okay? We'll focus on the packaging first, I guess. A uh, couple of things which is a little bit different, um, which would be obviously, obviously this one has that special packaging, right? This is number 270. The normal version would be number 304, okay? On top, basically it looks the same. Mini GT logo on both, on both on the side, okay? On this side, regular release, no logo, um, special release. It's actually Fred's, Fred's Garage Club 15 years of um, anniversary, okay? Okay, <laughs> and then we go to the back. Now the back, we do see a little bit of difference as well. Um, on the, the Special Edition version, right? Um, there's no TSM logo up here. I'm not sure why um, that <laughs> they don't have it up there because basically, I think everything else shouts TSM just not at the top here um, not sure why so uh, that that's I think that's the only major difference um, it on the label itself it's already uh, mentioned you know uh, this is a Fred Scourge special it didn't mention in front but at the back here on above the barcode sorry I didn't notice that it was was not focused okay so on the barcode um, product details it's Fred's garage special it's mentioned there and it's a left hand drive okay the regular release is actually a right hand drive version okay so on the box itself uh, we already know um, the two okay so I'm gonna put these two boxes okay I'm just gonna put these two boxes uh, aside and just to do just to do a little bit of recap so um, so far up till now these two are already released uh, the two Mazda Miata MX-5 and uh, Yunos what, uh, the exact basically the exact almost the exact same car is released as Yunos Roadster which is this is actually meant for the uh, meant for JDM uh, Japan domestic market okay so these two was already released basically it's the stock version of the Roadster okay I do have it here already I've already made a first look video of it I've also done a comparison of both of them so that is not our main focus for today now introducing there we go Fred's garage and a classic white um, the, out of the box I I really like uh, the wheels the gray wheels on this it actually looks really very nice um, it really hits the point actually um, white on the gray rims okay and uh, maybe I can give a little bit of a story of this Fred's garage right initially I thought there's some probably some tuning some tuning company right that's why you have that real car photo up front as well so no um, this is this is not uh, Fred's Garage is not um, automotive company but they are actually a diecast store in Taiwan okay so I would make an assumption that Fred is actually the owner of the diecast shop um, and uh, the other thing the other thing that I can mention right is that uh, I believe that this is actually his car okay because I've seen one photo 
so I would make an assumption that it is his car because I'll come to why I think so right so we'll start maybe we we'll start from the front okay so the most obvious difference right now the this variant would be the pop-up lights okay so this will be the first time um, they release with the lights up um, upcoming pre-orders I did see this version as well um, the pop-up version and also a soft top version so we will gonna see quite a few more different variant on top of variant colors that will come out um the other variant color uh that would that is on it um that is already in production would be the blue and then um a brand new pre-order uh would be the next pre-order would be in yellow i just received detail uh, earlier today okay so Headlamps. That that's the first uh, first thing that is very different from from the previous models. Okay, and then the rims. Now this rims the daisy daisy design daisy flower rims. Right. Um, this is actually a very very stock version of the Roadster. So this set of wheels. Sorry, I'm not sure the name of this set of rims, but it looks very very nice. Okay, and then um, so we go to the side. Right. It's very nice that uh, even on the white, you know, you can see that silver door handle details okay maybe i can do a little bit more close up okay so yeah even on the white you can see that silver door handle details that's actually very nice um front oh uh sorry i'll go back to the front right now this headlamp i do quite like the texture to it um it feels flat so probably the texture is actually on the inside i suspect it's a button um, that sticked onto the headlamp piece. The headlamp piece feels plastic. It's fixed. You can't actually lower it down. Um, down here is the uh, I believe it's um, the fog lamp. I'm not sure it's a fog lamp or, or the indicator lights because they do have the indicator um, lamp on the side here. Um, so I'm not sure if this is actually a fog lamp or uh, indicator lights. Okay, if you do know, please do let me know in the comment section below. Cool. All right. So this one, the other difference would be that is a front lip now this front lip does look like it does look like it's one piece a single piece with the base okay that's nice so it does quite look quite realistic you see the front lip that is actually a very nice continuation from the white uh, bumper to the metal base okay so there's a grill down here there's some texture to it that's also quite nice okay Damn right, it's so cute. Looks like it's a cute smiley face. Okay, that's just so cute. Okay, and then um, here on the windscreen, right, there is the wiper details. It's a single piece together with the windscreen. Um, it's blackened, so that's fine with me. Side mirror is actually, uh, maybe I'll, I'll call it a silicone. It's slightly soft. I don't mind that. Um, I. I don't think there's anything else done to the side mirror. Okay, I don't see any silver paint or anything. All right, so we go to the back. Slight skirting again on the back. Okay, there's some slight skirting here. Okay, on the back. And then um, the, the muffler is painted silver. Okay, I do quite like they have detailed that. The tail lights, quite realistic as well. The third brake light, there is some printing. Um, on the back here, let's see if you can see it right now. This one I know that because I've seen the photo right. Um, this is basically a plate that belongs in uh, Michigan State. Uh, so up here, that blue bar right inside there, you would see that white color s smudged kind of thing there, right? That actually is supposed to read Michigan, and then um, down here it reads uh, Madao M A D A O. So this, I believe, um, belongs to Fred because in his uh, Facebook profile, it's actually, uh, I think he studied there for a bit. Um, he did he did put in his profile that, you know, he went to, uh, I think it was Michigan um, State University. So I would assume while he was there, before he's back in uh, Taiwan, probably he studied there. Okay. So there's a couple more details down here, but uh, unfortunately, I have not seen any photographs that, you know, can tell me what is it I mean, I suspect this reads um, Roadster I'm not sure what is this what what is this down here okay so overall actually it's a very very nice car left-hand drive v a very nice piece of uh, scale model actually uh, it's left-hand drive there's some details to the gear, gear lever the center console on the dashboard area as well it does look like it's ha it has a glove box 
okay and then um the other key difference right with the uh the classic tune version would be the also the difference with the previous um roadster versions is this roll bar at the back okay so this one has that black roll bar okay so i think from the photograph of the okay hang on oh sorry hang on let me just zoom out there we go can you see it yeah it does look like on the real thing that that is uh, how it looks like as well so very nice very nicely done by uh, mini gt to replicate that okay all right there's a uh, sun wind uh the visor as well detail up there that's nice okay so we'll move on to the classic tuned version okay so it is a classic mx5 but it's tuned so it has that front lip and the back lip and the modified um the aftermarket um set of rims overall it does look like it has a slightly different shade of white even though um description wise it's uh, the same classic white okay it does look like it's uh, this one the regular release does look like it's a little bit more yellowish okay compared to fred's garage side mirror huh from the top here the side mirror looks a little bit different right but uh no i think they are exactly the same okay i'm just gonna zoom in a little bit more okay oh giving me a bit more space okay and then uh so basically details wise the lights uh the fog lamps the indicator lights i think the major difference would be the um headlamp this is closed uh the viper is the other in the other direction this one would be a right hand drive okay this would be a right hand drive on the side mm, basically they are the same basically they are the same i don't see any difference um apart from the roll bar okay the roll bar here now this one would be different it would be more obvious from the back okay so this roll bar did not appear in the previous roadster release okay and then the plates it says roadster and again the two um oh it does look like it's the same okay uh the slight printing left and right of the plates so probably it's uh, not a custom thing it's just something that actually appears on the car okay and then what else can i tell you uh base basically they are the same okay made in china mini gt logo all right a muffler um huh this one the fret scratch version looks a little bit more glossy compared to the regular version a little bit matte I'm not sure if that is intentional or it's just a different batch of paint which I think it's very normal because these are probably made in the thousands okay so mm. still uh, this I, I think these versions look so much better than the than the stock versions uh, that that came out earlier <laughs> I think these still look so much better uh, I do look forward to to the rest of the tuned version actually and uh, right at the back, actually, I do have um, something from YM Model. Okay, uh, they have also made an MX-5 uh, in resin. Now, this one is actually quite interesting, but uh, I don't think I'll I'll talk about that uh, in in this section. Five colors, really. I haven't got a chance to record it. Uh, it's my first resin that has that has openable openable hood uh, with the engine detail. So do let me know if you want to see that i'll try to find some time to actually record uh the first look for that release it's pandem white body for the um newer model the modern model of the uh, the mx5 okay so that's what i have there all right so i think um i think i cover it so that's it for this time around remember to uh look me up on um facebook okay collectors cube that's q u b e all right here we go here we go Okay, hit that like button uh, because that will help me out on the uh, YouTube, YouTube <laughs> algorithms. Uh, hit the subscribe button as well. Hit the bell so that you don't miss on any of my other diecast videos. Okay, so um, that's it for now. Take care. Bye.